What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick with another custom set. If you like what you see today then please do hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing for future custom sets, minifigs, and even giveaways. Because today I have for you the micro scale Tantive 4 once again from 2 bricks. Being in the micro scale, this is two scale with the hammerhead that I showed off just a few weeks ago. Now, just like with the hammerhead, I did buy a pre made kit for this that comes with non Lego pieces. But just like always, I did also buy the instructions directly from 2 Bricks' Rebrickable page. They only cost $4, which is well beyond worth it, so I will be linking that in the description down below. This mock of the Tantive 4 contains 677 pieces, and it makes the absolute most out of them. Now, just like with the Hammerhead a few weeks ago, there's no Technic structure inside of this build, and it doesn't really need one. The Tantive 4 certainly has a few more weak points, for instance the engines are really only connected by just a few studs, but that does not make this a weak build. Those few sections are still pretty thoroughly connected, they might just come off if you're moving this or handling it in the wrong way, but they're really easy to reconnect. So even though that or like these angled pieces in the middle are quote unquote fragile, I wouldn't really worry about it too much. And once again, just because this is micro scale doesn't mean that it is small, there are still plenty of room for details like at the front where you can easily still see the bridge. And the cone pieces do allow for the front to have that iconic shape. But honestly, this was probably the easiest part for him to figure out. Though the Tantive 4 is symmetrical, it still has a lot of weird angles and shapes to it, something which is not always the easiest to recreate in LEGO. The reason that I chose this version of the Tantive 4 is because, to me, it's one of the few that just captured it right. This really is a very worthwhile set and one that I would highly recommend to anyone. Now if I show you the build from the side, you can see a little bit more of what I mean that there's no Technic structure because everything is literally just plates or bricks on top of plates or bricks. This is classic LEGO building here. And that is what allows for these changes of angles, but also for the changes in color as well. The Tanta 4 does have that dark red stripe going across the entire body of the ship, and at this scale it's just easier to do it this way. Now there are some quote unquote features such as the turret here at the top, but it's not really the easiest thing to move and I don't really know why you would want to anyway, but it's there. Then on either side of the vehicle you also have these things which I believe are turrets, but when I was young and first built the UCS Tanta 4 slash blockade runner I thought these were the escape pods, but no, these are actually the escape pods which are underneath. And while we're down here I wanted to show you that there are still details on the underside. Not much because you're not really going to be looking at this side all too much, but there are still some. Like this thing, which I honestly have absolutely no idea what this is. I thought it was a docking port, but no, this is actually the docking port where things like the A-Wing will connect to. One of the hardest areas to recreate with the Tantive 4 are these fins in the back here, which I think 2 Bricks really did a great job of recreating. A lot of the times I've seen people just ignore these or try and then not really do it too well, I think this is a very clever way of representing it. And then behind that we do have the radar dish, but of course one of the most iconic parts of this entire build are the engines. The Tanta 4 has 11 engines and what's really cool about this build is that it's not very repetitive. I mean, in all honesty, it still kind of is, but all 11 engines are not exactly the same. They're just mostly the same. Instead, you build the middle three, which are identical, and then you build the outer two for, I believe it was the bottom at first, and then the inner two of the bottom, the outer two of the top, and the inner two of the top. So it does break up the building process just enough to stop it from being ultra boring, but anyway, it doesn't really matter because these engines are still fairly detailed and look incredible. But while I'm back here, I do just want to point out one really quick thing. On the middle left there, you'll notice that there is a dark red point sitting just above another stud. This is, for probably the first time ever on this channel, actually not my doing. Instead, this is actually part of the design. There is a spot in the instructions which tell you that they won't sit there and it's fine. 
The stand for this is way smaller and a lot more practical than that of the hammerhead, but it does its job equally as well. You can actually remove it a lot easier, but if you're going to put this on display, I would just keep it on this stand. For me, these two models were some of the most incredible builds that I've put together in a long time. They were so fun to actually build, the instructions were incredibly clear and very well made, the mocks themselves are quite sturdy and hold together, there's enough details on them and they just look good. The instructions are cheap, the actual cost of the pieces is cheap, and I don't need to buy a whole new table just to display them. While I know some people don't like the micro scale builds due to the micro in the title, again that doesn't mean that these are small or bad. If you're looking for something that's a little on the cheaper side, but is still really good and easy to display, I would highly recommend checking these out. Again, the link to the instructions for the Tantive will be in the description down below, and while you're down there make sure you hit like, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Next week I have a very special and probably very long video coming up for you guys because, well, we basically reached 6,500 subscribers and I kind of made a promise. I'd recommend watching that because of the video that came out yesterday, but anyway, thank you all so much for all your support, and thank you to all of my patrons, especially Shiny Mimikyu. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one.